guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an Alphalete haul. So in case you weren't aware, they recently just had their fifth birthday sale where they had their whole website on sale and they released a few new items and I went ahead and I went a little bit crazy on that. I spent over $500 getting stuff and it was all on sale so technically everything would have really been a lot more. So I want to go ahead and do a haul for you guys. First of all, before I begin this video, I just want to like rant a little bit I could say so if you don't want to hear this just skip through it okay so basically I'm a newbie to Alphalete on my Instagram if you're subscribed to my YouTube and stuff like that then you would know that I will wear a lot of Gymshark my collection my gym wear collection is mainly Gymshark I only tried Alphalete one time before placing this order and I literally I just got a leggings and a shirt from them because I really wanted to try them and I actually really liked them I really liked the leggings and I really liked the shirt like two weeks before the sale so once I saw the sale was coming up I was like oh this is the perfect time for me to get more of their items, try them out, you know, stock up, see how I feel about everything else since it's going to be on sale. The first order I ever made with them was not during any like sale or launch or anything and they claim that during their launches or their sales they, they do take a little longer to ship which is completely understandable. You have a lot of orders coming in. So this was just a regular order that I made and it still took five days <laughs> to get shipped out to me and then another like two days to get here. Which to me was a bit ridiculous because I paid for shipping and it took that long to get here and I'm in the US, they're based in the US, it's not like it's going overseas or anything. Like I get my Gymshark orders like this and I'm in Florida and they're all the way across. So that was a little bit frustrating for me but I was like whatever when I got here I really like the stuff so I couldn't complain. I made this order, they did have like the little disclaimer letting everyone know that it is a launch so it is going to take four to seven business days to ship. I was like okay, fine, no problem, makes total sense. But my stuff didn't ship until 10 business days after, which is, which is frustrating. Like why say four to seven days if you're not going to ship it in that four to seven day like window, which was honestly really annoying, but I was just like, whatever, it's fine. Like my stuff is coming. It'll be here soon. Not a big deal. Like, I don't care. It was annoying. It, it annoyed me a little bit, but I was fine about it. So. I just got my package today, literally like minutes before I sat down to film this, my package arrived and I'm missing stuff. Which is even more annoying, like it took so long to ship out my stuff and you can't even ship me everything I ordered. I'm missing three of the items that I ordered and they didn't, they couldn't even let me know like when the stuff got shipped out on Saturday, they couldn't even say like, send an email saying, oh, these items sold out or oh, these items will be shipped, sent in a different package, like nothing, nothing at all. I am missing a pair of leggings, which is actually the pair of leggings that I was most excited about because it's their Alpha Lux leggings, which is their new release leggings, and I didn't get them. And I went on the website and they're not even sold out, so I don't understand why they couldn't be shipped. The other item that I'm missing is one of their Aspire Long Sleep Crops that I ordered, which is sold out on the website. Again, I feel because they took so long to ship it out that it did get sold out, other people could have ordered it. Then the other item that I'm missing is I actually did purchase some stuff for my boyfriend so the other sh one of the other items that I'm missing is one of his shirts. Basically before ordering I had heard so many mixed reviews about Awfully. I heard that their stuff is amazing but I heard that their customer service, their shipping and all that stuff was just a complete mess. But I decided to give it a try anyways so yeah. I'm a little disappointed on that part you know I feel like the customer service could be handled a bit differently. I sent them an email letting them know that I didn't get my stuff and I'm just waiting on their reply. Which I'm just gonna assume that it's gonna take a little bit, even if I get if I get a reply or not, because I read that a lot of people aren't getting replies. So yeah, I know this is a problem that they have. So you know, I just hope that I can get refunded for my stuff. And I just wanted to rant about that with you guys for a little bit. I just wanted to get it off my chest. And basically, I know that anyone who watches this video might order things based off of my recommendations or not. And I just want to let you guys know that like. Be aware that while their stuff is great quality, their customer service just like kind of lacks in that and so yeah, so. But anyways, done with that rant over, um, let's go right into all the things I got. So I have them all right here in this little clothing rack that I got. First thing I got is a surface path legging and bra and I got this in a teal. That's what it says the color is on the website but it looks kind of more like a like an emerald green or something. So this is what the sports bra looks like. It's got this deep V cut in the front that is so pretty and so flattering on the chest. Alphalete right here. I like how this was put in here. It's not pressed on there like other labels. It's not gonna like come off in the wash and peel off and stuff like that. So I really like that. And then the back just looks like this. It's an open racer back. So that's really good, super flattering. And then it has this right here, this little elastic. 
So one thing I really like about Alphaly is that they're so minimal. It is really minimal, but it's super cute at the same time. They pay so much attention to detail without having to put too much branding on it. So I really like that personally. And I got this sports bra in a size small. I was a little bit skeptical because I didn't have any sports bras from them. So I was like, hmm, do I order small? Do I get a medium? But I just went off the measurements on their chart and it said I should get a small. And then I got the leggings and this is what they look like. They have this little cut right here which I find so flattering I was so excited about these because they look so good on all the athletes and then just very plain in the front all the way down and then on the back it says Alphalete right there in that same type of branding that sticks out and then it just has the seam right down the middle one thing I will say about these leggings is that I don't know why in like pictures I felt like it was going to be like a buttery soft material like Kind of like Lululemon's soft. I don't know. That's just like kind of the look they gave me. But they are actually more like of a brushed fabric. So I feel like you have to take really good care of these. Because if you brush anything against it. They will like damage very easily. So I really like this set. I find that it fits so comfortable. And it like molds to your body. So I really like that. The sports bra V-cut makes for such a perfect detailing. I find that the leggings are squat proof. When it comes to camel toe, I feel that I hike my leggings really up my butt. So I feel like it gave me a slight camel toe just because I was hiking them far up. But I feel like if you didn't hike them up as far as I do, then you wouldn't get a camel toe. But it's nothing too major, nothing too crazy. I really like the back. I feel like it really, really shapes your booty. And I just love the set overall. And I'm absolutely in love with this teal color. It's super beautiful. So the next thing I got is the Alpha Lux Sports Bra. So I was supposed to get the bra and I was supposed to get the leggings. Like I said, I ordered both. And for some reason, they did not ship me my leggings. So I'm really upset about that because this was the set I was absolutely most excited about because it was their new release. But I got it in the color Sparrow. I also got that in a size small. So this is what the front looks like. Very minimal, no branding in the front. It's kind of got kind of like an, a lower cut. By the way, this is the Tri Bra. I know that the Alpha Lux comes with two different bras, but I got the Tri Bra mostly for this strappy back I like this strappy back i think this is so pretty and it's gonna look so beautiful on the back so it just has these three straps like this and then it just says alpha Lee right there and then it says alpha looks right under it again in that same like raised branding just makes it look like so luxurious like so much better quality and it's not going to come off it has the removable cup pads if you want to take them off i usually like to just leave them in there i'm so sad i wish i would have gotten the leggings for this so upsetting because it was what I was looking forward to the most. This Alpha Lux sports bra actually looks so pretty on. I really like how minimal it is. I did go with a size small and I feel like I definitely could have sized down to an extra small just because the straps on the back, you can see that they're a little loose. Um, I would say this is kind of a low support sports bra just because it has a lower cut. So I feel like if you were to do a lot of hit, a lot of running around in this, it might not be the best sports bra for it. But I highly recommend it for a back day. I'm super excited to use it. I feel like it's just beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I got is the Halo leggings. I got them in this aquamarine color. And then I got these rose pink ones. The aquamarine is from their newest releases of Halo. So they said that they're more improved on the seams. And then this is from their old release of Halo. By seeing them, the new ones feel like, look at this, so much stretchier than these do. So that's one thing I feel like especially along here, along all these seams, these just feel and they just look so much stretchier. So I got both of these in a size small. The first pair of leggings that I ever owned from Alphalete were the Halos in this tan color and I got those in a size small so I decided to stick with the same size when getting these. The Halos just look like this. They have this really big, thick, pretty, compressive waistband. Leggings throughout are really stretchy, but the waistband itself doesn't have that same stretch. It's a lot more compressive. It has this beautiful detailing down the leg, which just, in my opinion, completely, completely flatters your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. And then in the back, it just says Alphalete, which is like stitched into the material. So I really like that because it's not going to peel off or anything like that. It has the seam right here and then it has this beautiful bum contouring. This is my favorite thing about the halos. That's just so pretty in my opinion. Like I said, they're really minimal but they have this detailing that just makes them stick out and look so pretty. 
and the pink ones just look exactly the same. I'll fully in the back. Like I said, around the seams right here, these just don't look as stretchy as the blue ones do. So I'm really excited to try those on and see if I feel a difference in the stretchiness. I personally never had any problems with my tan ones. I know that a lot of people were having problems with the seams coming apart and ripping on them and stuff, but I never had that problem. One thing I will say about the halos with my tan ones, when I first wore them to the gym, I wore them on leg day, and I like to use um, resistance bands, like booty bands, to do my warm-ups, and I like to use them throughout my workout as well. And this fabric is so sensitive that the resistance band actually ruined them right where I wear it. I don't know if you can see that or not right there. It kind of just like the band like constantly tugging on the fabric kind of made it like pile a lot in that area. So that's one thing I would recommend that when you do wear this, you have to be very, very careful. All this material, all these fabrics are very delicate. So you have to make sure you're taking really good care of them. They are a really expensive pair of leggings. So just be careful, keep that in mind because I didn't know with all my other leggings, I've never had any kind of problems like that. So I didn't know and I just felt super comfortable and confident when I was gonna use the booty band wearing these. But yeah, I did scruff them a little bit and I ruined them right there, so. I can't even tell you how much I love these halo leggings. I feel like they're definitely one of my top leggings, like definitely my top two of all the leggings I own overall. You get the perfect tummy control in these leggings. They're so stretchy and they're not restricting at all, but they do hold you in. They give you that compression without feeling like you're being suffocated. 100% squat proof in both of these colors. Absolutely zero camel toe for me. And they're just the perfect length, perfect overall. Like I'm obsessed with these. If they weren't so expensive, I would literally get every color because they are so worth it. Super soft on the body, super comfortable, super flattering, 10 out of 10 in my book. These are the best Alphalete leggings I have tried to date. The next pair of leggings I got are actually the Aero leggings. So they just look like this. I watch a lot of videos, so I'm not alarmed by this. I know that this is what they're supposed to like come out looking like. I got these in a size small as well. For reference, I got everything in a size small. They are in the color Cloud Gray. And this is just what they look like. They have all this beautiful detailing, like this mesh detailing right here, this rib detailing right here, going all the way down the leg on both sides. And then in the back, they have that Alpha Elite logo. They have the same detailing and contouring going all around, like hugging the bum right here, which I feel like will give it a, like a good lift. Um, one thing I will say about these is that these are not as stretchy as the halos. They look like they're a lot more compressive and restricting. This band is my favorite thing. It just looks so nice. It's like it's going to be the perfect tummy control. Um, it looks very compressive, but it doesn't feel like it's going to restrict you either. But overall, I would say these leggings, if you want a legging that's like more compressive, I would definitely go for this one over the halos. So after trying these arrow leggings on, um, I wouldn't say that I love them. I don't hate them, but I wouldn't say that I love them and that they're my favorite. One thing is that they're so hard to put on. I don't know if it's because of all this like mesh detailing that they have here, but they're so hard. You really have to like sit down and like pull them up and you have to be so careful because you don't want to stick like your nail or anything in one of the little holes and rip it. So they do take quite a bit of time to put on. And then when they're on, they just feel so tight like around my quads and around like under my butt. They just felt really, really, really tight and constricting there. So I don't feel like I could do a lot of movement in them. The waistband does have really good compression. So I really like that. But overall, I just feel like the leggings are a lot more compressive. Just the whole legging as a whole, the waistband, the bum, like all of this right here, it's just a really, really compressive legging. So if that's something you're into, then the arrow leggings are definitely for you. I like to feel a little bit more comfort. Like I like to be compressed and I like to be held in, but not to the extent of compression that these were giving me. So that's something to keep in mind. And that they do look really good on. They're super pretty. They're super flattering, but yeah, maybe size up, I would say, I don't know. I just felt like they were restricting me too much in this area. They were so compressed right there. So that's something to keep in mind. I got is a Revival R6 shorts. I got these in hot pink. I was super excited about these. I've always really wanted to try them. Every time I saw anyone wearing them, I was like, those shorts look so beautiful. But the one thing I was scared about was that they were gonna be too short because I am a taller gal. Like, I don't know, I just feel like for some reason I felt like my booty cheeks were gonna be hanging out of this. 
But anyways, this is what they look like. So they have this waistband right here. They have these seams right here on the sides of the waistband, which I feel like will like hug your waistband in really nicely. And then in the back, they just say Alphalete that's stitched in there. So I really, really like that. They have this seam going up the butt right here that I just feel will be like perfect to like just hike these up your booty. I really wanted to get the vault bra in the same hot pink color to go with it, but I couldn't find it on the website. But I really have been dying to try that bra, so I got the vault bra in charcoal. By the way, I got both of these in a small. So this is what that vault bra looks like. I've been so excited to try this because it's so minimal. It has zero, zero branding on it. The Revival shorts, wow. I was really impressed with these. I wasn't expecting much from them. I was just like, yeah, these are just going to be like regular, but I actually really, really love them. I find that they're the perfect length. I don't feel like my booty cheeks are going to be hanging out during my workout or anything like that. I really love how far up the seam goes, so you can really just hike those suckers up, and you're not going to get any camel toe in the front because I did hike them up when I tried them on, and I still had zero camel toe. I felt so comfortable. They're so stretchy. The waistband like cinches you in, hugs you, and it's, it's just, they're perfect. I actually really like them, and I really, really want to get more colors because they just fit so good, and they're perfect for the summer. So yeah, zero camel toe, squat proof, 100% squat proof for me, just because they are a thicker material. So I find that anything that's like really thick like that, 90% of the time they're gonna be squat proof. So yeah, squat proof, camel toe proof, perfect length. They're not gonna be like no crazy booty shorts where your cheeks are gonna be hanging out or anything like that. Back on this sports bra is so beautiful. Like the, your back is just completely exposed. So this is what it looks like in the front, very plain, very minimal. It just has all these stitchings going around it. And the back, which is my favorite thing, looks like this. It's just completely, completely open. And then the branding for this is actually just on the inside on the back. It's just this alpha elite right there. The vault sports bra is so pretty. I felt so good wearing this with the open back. I just felt like so much breeze coming in. It felt so nice. I got a small in this and I really liked it. The one thing I will say is just that like in this area right here, it does rise higher up a little bit. So personally for me, I hold a lot of fat in this area. So I just felt like it was like, I don't know how to explain it, like really just like squeezing me in there. But honestly, it didn't bother me at all. It's nothing like crazy, nothing that I can't handle. Maybe size up if you're like me and you hold a lot of like fat in this area. Maybe that will fit a lot more comfortable. But overall, I really love it. I love, love, love the open back. I love the minimal front. Definitely a super beautiful, super flattering sports bro. I really like this one. I think it's beautiful. So, 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 so soft. I got this in a size small as well. So it just has that alpha leap band going around onto the back and then it has these adjustable straps. And you guys know that any bra with an adjustable strap is the bra for me. And then it just has the matching thong and it just looks like that. That same baby pink color and that same band going all around and it is pretty stretchy. So I think that's really good. But yeah, this set is perfect just to like lounge around in. There's like, it's just, it's a thong and bra set. Like there's a, nothing crazy about it. You're not going to wear this out to the gym, but just a perfect set. Like super comfy. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on. The waistbands here, they're so stretchy that they don't feel like restrictive or tight or anything like that. It feels super comfortable to just lounge around the house in. Guys, that was my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I've been waiting days to film this for you. I was so excited to get all my stuff. And overall, I can say that I'm really impressed with everything I got. I really, really liked everything. If there's one thing that I recommend getting from here, it's definitely the Halo leggings. Like, you cannot go wrong with those in all areas. They're perfect, perfect, perfect. I am so in love with them. Awfully makes great products. There was so much thought and effort and time just put into every product that they make. The quality is there. They're definitely worth the price for all of the things that I got. When it comes to that and the quality and all their stuff, I'm super impressed. I highly recommend it. Just I wish their customer service was a little bit better. I am really disappointed that I didn't get some of my items, but it is what it is. <laughs> Hopefully they get back to my email and we can get that sorted out. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more hauls like this and follow me on my Instagram so you can see me working out in all my new clothes. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.